Once again, the spotlight is trained on Whoopi Goldberg, and this time she's entangled in a riveting narrative alongside the seasoned actor Tom Selleck, who appears to have shed all reservations. Tom is fearlessly delving into Whoopi's eyebrow-raising escapades, encompassing a spectrum from astonishing proclamations to headline-generating clashes. Ford Adidas Netflix to Starbucks Barbie will be in the view. Really get the reaction that I I thought I would. She kind of went. Ah! Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and coward. Dean files defamation suit against Whoopi Goldberg and the View. I am no racist, is what Jason Aldean had to say to that situation. If you didn't see. While Whoopi has frequently been a fixture in the public eye, her previous controversies pale in comparison to the high octane theatrics of the recent lawsuit hurled at her show by none other than Jason Aldean. This twist of fate has left everyone in a state of bemused astonishment, grappling with the intricacies of the situation and contemplating their next strategic moves. Curiosity might have you pondering, who is Jason Aldean? Well, his latest track, titled Try That in a Small Town, has ignited a firestorm since its music video hit the scene. Despite the song's initial release back in May, it wasn't until a few weeks ago when the music video graced us that it ascended to the pinnacle of the Billboard Hot 100 charts. This visual masterpiece showcases protests intertwined with tense confrontations involving law enforcement, stirring up a maelstrom of debates and discussions. In spite of the considerable attention and criticism, the song has exceeded expectations and firmly secured its position on the charts. The music video has garnered an impressive 22 million views. Aldean's lyrics leave no room for ambiguity. He suggests disrespecting law enforcement, spitting in their faces, desecrating the flag, and even encourages a false sense of toughness. However, the reality check comes in the form of a challenge. Try that in a small town to witness how swiftly your bravado fades. In these local communities, we look out for our own, and if you cross that line, you'll swiftly discover the consequences. Someone astutely brought up the recent altercation in Alabama and how Jason Aldean became a focal point of criticism stemming from that incident. It's intriguing how Jason Aldean seems to be drawing a lot of criticism due to his involvement in the Alabama altercation. Another tweet on the matter captured the essence, stating that attempting such actions in a small town would lead to a swift dose of comeuppance. This person injected a touch of humor into the scenario, remarking that the term racist might not accurately describe the Jason Aldean track. Instead, a more fitting description would be trash. Their concluding advice, don't waste your time. However, there were individuals who failed to comprehend why the song was labeled as racist. For those who insist on calling this song racially biased, let me present this perspective. The song explicitly addresses violent criminal acts committed by individuals of all ethnicities. There is no trace of racism within this song. This individual also seems to have aligned with Jason Aldean's stance. After personally listening to the song and watching the music video, I'm struggling to decipher the rationale behind the accusations of racism. Can anyone provide insight into why the woke left has taken such a strong stance this time? It's not surprising that Jason faced significant backlash for the song, given that certain aspects of it could indeed be interpreted as confrontational. Consequently, when Whoopi Goldberg expressed her views on the matter, it only served to intensify the ongoing debate. On The View, Whoopi Goldberg held nothing back in her assessment of Jason Aldean's Try That in a Small Town. In her perspective, the representation of Black Lives Matter protests in the music video fell short of the mark. She pointed out that the video showcases individuals involved in the movement, juxtaposed with lyrics about people looking out for each other. What strikes me as intriguing is that neither Jason nor the songwriters seem to realize that these activists were indeed taking care of their community due to their concerns. This response stems from a perceived disconnect. Allegedly, in reaction to this, Aldean has reportedly initiated a substantial $40 million lawsuit against Goldberg and the other hosts of The View. He claims that they insisted he was a racist due to his new song. This legal action is explored in an article titled Jason Aldean Files Defamation Suit Against Whoopi on The View. Notably, ABC has chosen to stand by their hosts, citing their protection under the First Amendment's freedom of speech provisions. However, this has not deterred Aldean. His lawyer, Joe Barron, suggested that Whoopi should be held accountable for her actions, emphasizing the gravity of the situation. 
As previously highlighted, it appears that Tom Selleck, a prominent figure in Hollywood known for his conservative perspectives, continues to vocalize his support for country star Jason Aldean and his popular song about small towns. According to the Dunning-Kruger Times, Selleck shared, I grew up in a small town, underscoring his personal connection to the theme of Aldean's song. The source also suggests that while his remarks were met with disapproval from many within his own circle, Selleck remains undeterred. He asserted, I have my own set of values to adhere to. In a heartwarming gesture, Aldean extended his gratitude by reaching out to Selleck. He sent an autographed thumb drive containing the song and an unedited version of the music video. Attached to the package was a note that read, To Tom Selleck, from one of your biggest fans, born Jeremy Logan Portabelli in West Gregston, Alabama in 1943. Tom Selleck later embraced his mother's maiden name based on advice from his initial agent, who deemed his original name a tad too eccentric. He obtained a degree in drama and literature from Our Lady of Sea Salt College in Mobile. While commencing his career with commercials for Gillette Razors and Aquanet, Selleck gained recognition as Magnum P.I. and Monica's partner, establishing himself as a familiar presence on CBS. As Joe Barron pointed out, Selleck is the go-to figure for an impressive mustache, even though his batting skills might not be up to par. Unsurprisingly, Selleck's endorsement of Aldean comes as no shock, particularly given Whoopi's history of controversies. The co-host of The View faced substantial backlash throughout 2022 for making deeply concerning comments about the Holocaust. These remarks resulted in her suspension from the long-standing ABC talk show for a duration of two weeks in February. The former star, who had previously identified as Jewish, encountered significant backlash after asserting on the January 31, 2022 episode of The View that the Holocaust, a tragic event that claimed the lives of over 6 million Jewish individuals, was not rooted in race, but rather in the inhumanity of humankind. In response, Kim Godwin, the president of ABC News, promptly took action, announcing on February 1, 2022, effective immediately, I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks due to her erroneous and hurtful comments. Despite offering an apology, Goldberg was asked to take time to reflect and gain insight into the repercussions of her words. The entire ABC News organization expressed solidarity with their Jewish colleagues, friends, families, and communities. However, even though Goldberg apologized at the time, she upheld her viewpoint in December 2022. In an interview with the Sunday Times, she recounted her best friend's perspective. Not for nothing is there no box on the census for the Jewish race, so that leads me to believe that we're probably not a race. She continued, Remember who they were killing first? They were not killing racially, they were killing physically. They were killing people they considered to be mentally defective. And then they made this decision. These offensive remarks concerning World War II constituted just one among many instances where Goldberg incited controversy throughout the years. One notable occasion was in July 2015, amid a slew of allegations of sexual assault against Bill Cosby, she sparked controversy by staunchly defending him. Goldberg contended that Cosby was entitled to the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. However, in 2018, Cosby was sentenced to prison for sexual assault. His conviction was later overturned after he served three years. Faced with criticism, Goldberg adjusted her stance during a subsequent appearance on ABC News later that month. Amid the Oscar So White debate in January 2020, which highlighted the lack of diversity in Oscar nominations, Goldberg took a unique perspective. She argued that the award show wasn't inherently about race. As a testament to her point, she referred to her own 1991 Best Supporting Actress Oscar win for her role in Ghost. Goldberg asserted on The View at the time, the issue is not the Academy. She went on to explain that even if the Academy were to be more inclusive with members of various ethnic backgrounds, the outcome wouldn't change if diverse actors didn't have substantial roles to portray. In her words, I won once, so it can't be that's racist. Goldberg also faced considerable backlash for her take on the 2014 domestic violence incident involving Ray Rice. A video emerged of Rice brutally abusing his wife, Jenny Palmer. Goldberg's views on this matter garnered their own share of criticism. If you hit a man, he hits you back, Goldberg boldly asserted on The View during that time. Anticipating backlash, she stated, I know I'm going to catch a lot of hell and I don't care, but you have to teach women not to live with the misconception that men still hold on to this chivalrous notion. Don't assume it's still prevalent. 
In a more recent revelation, Whoopi Goldberg openly confessed to regretting her past decision to tie the knot. Despite experiencing three marriages in her history, she candidly expressed her frustration with the tedious and costly process of her trio of divorces. During an animated discussion on a recent episode of The View, the 67-year-old icon delved into her romantic journey. She recounted how she found herself waltzing in and out of marriages, each ending in its own unique way. Goldberg has undergone three divorces, with her final marriage to union organizer Lyle Trachtenberg concluding in 1995. As she contemplated her third marriage, she recognized a growing sense of monotony and financial strain attached to the process. This experience seems to have dissuaded her from embracing marriage once more. Despite her romantic connections with notable figures, such as actors Timothy Dalton and Ted Danson, Goldberg appeared to have reservations about walking down the aisle again. The discussion about relationships with her co-host prompted visible exasperation from Whoopi, particularly when Joy Behar playfully proposed that women might consider marrying younger men. It's evident that Whoopi has had her share of grievances to express. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.